welcome to Christmas Eve in our community, in our congregation, in our world. And uh, it's great to be here celebrating God with you. It's not the ideal way that we'd love to. We'd love to be together. However, this is pretty good too. Uh, welcome all of you who are part of the Laura and Bethany United Church congregations, and especially any of you who are not, but who are joining us this evening for our worship time. It's, it's our joy to share this time together with you. Uh, I want to give some gratitude. Uh, my gratefulness to Phil Irish and Laura Alessio, who did some of the readings this evening. Uh, the music is prepared by uh, Betty Weinstein and also the Alora United Church Choir, and you'll see them in a moment. We're also going to be sharing an Advent candle lighting video and the final one that has all the weeks of Advent and then a concluding piece. And the, um, the words uh, were written by Adrian Marchuk, and the singers are Adrian, Melinda Carroll, Tara Vegdeda, and Chris Chichuki. So that's my thanksgivings. Uh, the wonders of God's love. You, you know in the song, we're going to sing it in a bit, uh, Joy to the World. Uh, there's this line, uh, the wonders of his love. The wonders of God's love. Uh, wonder has a sense of awe, of, of something that, that's, that's breathtaking. And, um, and God's love, God's nature, God's very being, the heart of who God is, is love. And as we celebrate Jesus' birth tonight, as we, we think about the different things that are part of the, the, the Christmas story, things that we treasure so much, at the heart of it all is God's love, God's gift of love, God's coming to us in Jesus to show the extent of God's love. It's one of the paradoxes of Christmas that um, the, the, the love that fills the whole cosmos is expressed most clearly in this one who became, came li began life as a, as a baby, as a, as a child. And, and we wonder at that. So it is, um, that's kind of what we're going to do today. And what I invite you to do this evening is to, to wonder at, at God's love. Um, the beginning of the service, let me just uh, take you through it a little bit because we're just going to go from one item to another. Uh, we're going to start with a poem that Phil's going to read for us, and then we'll, uh, we'll watch the Advent candle lighting. If you have a candle with you and want to light that candle, uh, that, that'd be wonderful. So please do that. Then we're going to begin to hear uh, the account of, of Jesus' arrival from Luke's gospel and interspersed will also be bits, uh, samples, I guess, uh, from uh, an early Christian letter that's in the Bible, the letter to Titus. And we'll also be singing. All the words for all the songs will be on the screen for you this evening. And we'll be singing verses from Angels from the Realm of Glory. And then when we're, we'll hear more of the story and more singing, and then we'll finish by joining together in O Come All Ye Faithful. So uh, let's just take a moment to, to still ourselves and, and to relax and ready to experience and celebrate the wonders of God's love. Out on Christmas Eve. 
The deep night torques its mudded darkness, and billions roil through tossed slumber, bodies sleeping while hardly resting, seized with fears without number. In halls where they toast the Caesar, servant and slave snuff dark the light, hiding refused breathing corpses of this long debauched night. A thief wisps from house to home, testing each for unlocked door. From inside an infant cries, fearing what they're looking for. And on hills forgotten, shepherds watch sheep. Oh, come and be the hope in all our lives. Though chaos and confusion still survives, we know the path of hate all too well. We need our God with us, Emmanuel. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to us and all things shall be well.
those days, Caesar Augustus declared that everyone throughout the empire should be enrolled in the tax lists. This first enrollment occurred when Quirinius governed Syria. Everybody went to their own cities to be enrolled. Since Joseph belonged to David's house and the family line, he went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to David's town called Bethlehem in Judea. He went to be enrolled together with Mary, who was promised to him in marriage and who was pregnant. While they were there, the time came for Mary to have her baby. She gave birth to her firstborn child, a son, wrapped him snugly and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the guest room. The kindness and generosity of God, our Savior, has dawned upon the world. Nearby, shepherds were living in the fields, guarding their sheep at night. The Lord's angels stood before them. The Lord's glory shone around them, and they were terrified. The angel said, don't be afraid. Look, I bring good news to you, wonderful, joyous news for all people. Your savior is born today in David's town. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This is a sign for you. You will find a newborn baby wrapped snugly and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great assembly of heavenly forces was with the angel praising God. And they said, glory to God in heaven and on earth peace among those on whom his favor rests. The grace of God has dawned upon the world with healing for all humankind. When the angels returned to heaven, the shepherds said to each other, let's go right now to Bethlehem and see what's happened. Let's confirm what the Lord has revealed to us. They went quickly and they found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger. When they saw this, they reported what they had been told about this child. And everyone who heard it was amazed at what the shepherds told them. Mary committed these things to memory and considered them carefully. The shepherds returned home, glorifying and praising God for all that they had heard and seen. Everything happened just as they had been told.
good and gracious God, on this holy night, you gave us your son. You, the Lord of the universe, wrapped in swaddling clothes. You, the Savior of all, lying helpless in a manger. On this holy night, draw us deep into the mysteries of your love. Join our voices with the heavenly chorus that we may sing your glory on high. Give us a place among the shepherds that we may find the one for whom we have waited, who is Jesus the Messiah, our Lord. He who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Uh, again, welcome, and on behalf of the congregations of Bethany and Alora United Church churches, I welcome you if you're visiting with us. Um, these days, uh, we are worshiping online on Sundays at 11 o'clock. That includes Boxing Day. However, we are going to be taking January 2nd off. Also, we have been worshiping in person in the Alora United Church Sanctuary at 9.30 on Sunday mornings. Uh, we're not doing that on Boxing Day, and we're not doing that on the 2nd. And we hope we're going to be back on the 9th. We, we just don't know. And so uh, if you want to, uh, to join us, you certainly can. If you want more information about what's going on and when we're starting and all that, you can check out our website, alorauc.org. You can also email the church office and, or, or give a call and leave a message in the church office. Uh, the Bethany congregation is uh, will be deciding in the new year when they'll be going back to in-person worship, too. Uh, we're going to sing uh, Joy to the World, and then Hark the Herald Angels Sing, and then we're going to enjoy a medley uh, put together by the Alora United Church Praise Team called It's Christmas. <laughs>
till morning is night. It's Christmas, the angels are singing, and I know the reason, the Savior is born. Thanks, praise team. They actually recorded that last year, but the one advantage of doing it this way is we can reuse videos, and uh, it was so lovely to hear that again. Uh, none of you have changed at all in the last year. In fact, it feels like not much has changed in the last year. Uh, we thought it would be different, but here we are again online and uh, living in a world that still has a lot of worry, a lot of things messed up and overturned. And in the midst of that, we celebrate the advent of the Savior, the delightful coming of God the Son, into a world where there is fear, where so much is overturned. And um, we get to be part of his coming. Jesus is the expression of God's generosity. The expression of God's generosity that began from our perspective with creation and flows through all time in all places in every moment. Jesus is the expression of God's generosity born of love because love is generous. Love is not miserly. Love is not meager. It's not fearful. And love overturns this world that needs overturning. Needs to be set right and well. And my dear friends, because of Jesus, that's happening. That's happening in you. It's happening in me. It's happening through us too. 
thank you for your generosity. Your generosity, the ways in which you express God's generosity. The ways you do this in your day-to-day -day lives, week in, week out. In the great times and in the grinding on mundane times and in the awful times. When you're going through them or when you're with someone who's going through them, you are there, you are experiencing God's generosity and you are sharing it. So thank you. Let I want to, to bless and, and ask God's blessing on all the gifts that we are part of. Let us pray. God, you bless life that overflows abundantly, lavishly, prodigally, wastefully almost, <laughs> because there's always so much more love that you have to give. Thank you that we can celebrate today, Jesus. And in response to your great labor of love, we offer our gifts. God, use us. Use us today and tomorrow and days to come to open others to your blessings. Give in us an experience of childlike wonder the gift of radiant hope. Rest us in your peace and give us joy that knows no bounds. God, we dedicate yourself, ourselves, we dedicate all of our lives and all of our gifts to you. Amen. We're going to now listen to uh, the Alora United Church Choir. They recorded this piece uh, yesterday evening. Uh, we didn't video it, but I did sneak in some pictures. So I'll be showing them as, as we listen to them sing in a lowly manger.
Let's pray some more. In this most holy time, God, we have gathered. We're celebrating the birth of the Christ, your child, Jesus. We join our voices with those angels. We're like shepherds coming to the stable. And we wonder. We wonder at this gift of yourself. And as we come here, we bring the hurt and hopes of our world. We still have so much, and yet in our abundance, we still feel empty now. We are mindful of things we're missing, of, of people we're missing being with. of even just the normal patterns of getting dressed up and coming to worship on Christmas Eve, actually leaving our homes. We miss that. And we remember that for people, for many, that um, there's not much to sing about. People are feeling under the weather because of, well, because of COVID or other things. Some are quite sick. Let me pray for people who are living with, with, with illness, especially those who are very ill, who, who are dying. Bless them tonight. Give them peace. Give them healing. And we pray for those who are grieving. those for whom this Christmas is one of those firsts without someone. Or maybe it's the 31st or the 61st. They're still missing, grieving. Lord, give them your comfort. We remember those who, as Jesus was born into, are living in places of injustice and oppression, who are fearing violence in their countries, their cities, their neighborhoods, their own homes. Protect them, we pray. And bring peace and justice to our world. Oh God, use us who have been touched by Jesus, who've been filled with your spirit. Use us to be people of hope. People of love. People of peace. Teach us to bless, to be blessings. We pray in Jesus' name. And as he taught us, we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Well, we're going to uh, begin to draw our worship time to, uh, to a close. We're going to hear the praise team sing another song, Peace Has Come. We'll sing Away in the Manger then. And then finish up with Silent Night. Behold the star of Bethlehem, the word of God has become flesh. Unto us a child is born, the Savior of this world. Oh, oh, oh. 
The shepherds returned home, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen. Everything had happened just as they had been told it would. Wherever you go, God is already there, just as God has said. Together, God, help me notice, help us notice, and celebrate together. And may the blessing of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you wherever you go. Amen. Thank you.